Welcome back guys, it's Colton and Julia and this week we're bringing you back to Nelson Bay. Come along as we get up close and personal with the local wildlife, enjoy the crystal clear water, and even make a few upgrades to the car. Of course we'll be getting back into the water, even meeting a new species of shark, and so much more. Pack your duffels and come along for the ride. So on our east coast road trip we have seldom stayed in one spot for very long, but Nelson Bay really has captured our hearts and we've been here for nearly two weeks. The best part about spending time here is being able to start the day with a snorkel at Fly Point. Although the site is quite shallow and relaxed, it is absolutely booming with life. On this particular snorkel, we found a species that we had been looking out for for quite a while, a wabigong shark. Wabigongs are often referred to as a carpet shark due to the fact that they are a sedentary bottom feeding shark with ornate colors and patterns on their body. So they look like a carpet. They are endemic to Australia and can be found camouflaged among the coral or grass beds in relatively shallow areas along the coast. Not quite what you picture when you think of sharks. As we were heading back to shore, Colton spotted something from the corner of his eye and it turned out to be two bottlenose dolphins swimming about six feet away from us. Over 100 dolphins live in Port Stephens and it's not uncommon to see them moving along the shores of Nelson Bay. But to be this close to them in the water is such a special experience for us. After snorkeling, we wanted to check out the hike to Fingal Island. So we're heading all the way to the top over here. It's way too far out to, to see, but there are dolphins like hopping around over there. Like, can you see oh. them? <gasps> so cool! Like what? Pod. Pod of dolphins. So to hike to Fingal Island, you have to time your crossing on the sandbar with the tide. At high tide, the sandbar is completely covered by water. This place isn't even real. Head up to the lighthouse. It is, it's so hot. It is really hot. Along the track, we started seeing these huge spiders. Friends here. Holy put your hand up for comparison. They are actually called golden orb spiders oh, wow. and they are completely oh, harmless. All right, after about a kilometer and a bit and tons of spiders as you can see throughout the trail. We are almost at the lighthouse. Can't wait for that coastal breeze. Glad I touched this pile of This hike brings you to the Port Stevens Lighthouse, which is still an active lighthouse and looks over the rocky Fingal Bay. Wow. Been a saying, guys. If you're ever on top of a dune, the only way down. This is crazy. Quick and easy. It's a good hike. It's a little warm now, so I think we're gonna go for a little <laughs> swim. Highly recommend. The next day was pretty gloomy, so it was time to check something off of the to-do list. The goal for today, we're gonna get a new mattress because the old air mattress is long past her expiration date. And we're gonna try to get a few extra little improvements to the car. We have been dealing with this cheap, shitty air mattress, which has become progressively more contorted over the past two months. So it's time for an upgrade. All right, guys, where are we at? We're at quite the rubber. I'm trying to upgrade this mattress situation. This is so much nicer. <sighs> it is so much wider than the air mattress. Guys, we 
we stepped it up today. We have a real mattress. It only took us two months. Our quality of life just skyrocketed. It went from here to... Woo! We're gonna each have more than a slithered mattress. We're gonna be sleeping good. We have thoroughly enjoyed our time in Nelson Bay. In our minds, this place is the perfect retreat from the stresses of everyday life. A place where you can swim with dolphins in the morning, relax on a nearly empty white sand beach, and watch the sunset from the most beautiful viewpoint you'll ever find. What's cooking good looking? Also, just wanted to sneak in the fact that we don't just eat beans for dinner. It's a Greek salad. Boom. With falafel. One of the perks of uh, living in the car is that we make dinner and then we have a spot to go to that looks like this. It seems like we've seen and done all of what Nelson Bay has to offer, but there is one thing we need to do before we can move on. Good morning. <laughs> We're going for a dive at Fly Point and it's a beautiful tropical day as you can see. It is, it's really gross. It's really gross. And we have to dive it at seven in the morning because of the tide, so waking up to the rain on the roof really makes you want to get out and go for a dive but I mean if it's you're gonna get wet anyway so <laughs> might as well be underwater. Colton and I had both been fighting off a cold and sinus congestion during our time here but as soon as it cleared up we headed over to Feet First Dive Center to rent some tanks. Our snorkels have been really awesome but every diver we've met has told us that we need to scuba dive fly point at least once. Fly Point is actually considered to be one of the top shore diving sites in all of Australia, so of course we had to do it. Rain or shine. We descended on this beautiful sponge garden and immediately were met with this octopus hiding in among the rocks. Fly Point is also a hotspot for nudibranchs. As you move further out, you'll run into this big shelf, which turns out to be a popular hangout spot for huge wobbegong sharks. This was an awesome dive full of giant, colorful sponges and so much life. It was definitely worth the wait. <sighs> that was such a great dive. Oh. Fly Point is an excellent snorkel, but if you have the chance, definitely try to get in and actually dive it. Oh my god, we saw so much. That was so nice. Colton's cold because he brought a half millimeter wetsuit to Australia. Because he's stupid. Yeah, it was pretty cold, but you know, I've seen lots of cool stuff, so it's worth it. <laughs> oh, another good dive in the books. On to the next. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time as we continue on our Australian East Coast adventure.